ओके हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू आवर स्टार्टअप नाइट आउट वी डू दिस हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज स्टार्टअप नाइट आउट दैट हैपन्स एवरी फ्राइडे वेयर वी हैव एन ऑन्टरप्रनर शेयरिंग इज जर्नी अबाउट हाउ यू आर शी स्टार्टेड एंड हाउ ही रीच्ड वेर एवर दे रीच एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो फॉर टूडे वी हैव आर गेस्ट मिस्टर टी आर अनंथा नारायणन सो Mr. Anantha Narayan, we welcome you to our startup night out. Uh, is it okay? Can you hear me? Hello. So you are muted. Is it okay? Can you? Hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so we'll get started now. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Anantha, uh, first question I would like to have from you is, uh, for you is, uh, when you started your startup, what was the thing that was going on your mind? just before you started your startup what was the motivation and how was that day minus 1 for you when you thought that okay let's get started in next few weeks or next few days how was that uh, mindset say so it was the idea was uh, through a spark okay so i had you know i'm already a food technologist so i am in touch with many of those food industries we already had a, a family business of food safety consultancy service like food safety solutions international so i have been in this field for quite long time even being a technologist i used to work for that so after uh, my academic side just went and worked in industries and i worked in many industries i worked i have done research so uh, in that while doing that i have come across different people who who have started so many things and finally they 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 had struggled a lot Uh, while starting a firm or anything, so that is why that came the concept of Foodasta, where we do consultancy service for a startup, right, right from initial agreement to production planning, quality assurance, branding, logo, trademark. We do all kinds of services. Plus, we also have a production unit, manufacturing, uh, all these things. So this this concept of where people can be collectively uh, come to one point. It's a one-stop shop for all needs. That idea came up. So I have been doing on different kind of thing, but just had a plan to make it all together in a single firm. So that, so that was the idea that was behind that. It came as a spark. That then we had worked on that. I have got partners also on that. So, sure. so you have registered this uh, startup. I mean, when you started. You registered the startup first, or you started and then? Yes, it's a registered firm as partnership firm in 2015. And you started the operations that time only, or just before that, or how was that operations versus? No, no, we have started in 2015. So since since already a food technologist and my partner was also a 40 year old uh, experienced person, so we had lot of contacts in the industry. so right from the word uh, start we had a good start so uh, we had lot of contacts also even till date whatever we are whatever business we are getting is through our direct contacts you may not see us much in uh, social media or anywhere because we have roots all over here okay so sure, sure. we have been helping small uh, entrepreneurs also sure 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 okay Sure. So, what was the problem that came to your mind, like where you thought that okay, you need to really start a new business or a new startup? Uh, uh, I mean, the let's say the USP of your product. So, I have uh, two kind of thing. There is, I have a service. oriented uh, activities and product oriented activities okay so service k people who are starting new firms they were finding difficulty to run that they didn't know what to do they were running from pillar to post so a service sector which can provide all solutions of a food industry was the first thing so that is a service part of that plus 
uh, as being a uh, I have a lot of ideas where I can implement, make products, different kind of products. So uh, we have a proceeding with all uh, baking related kind of products. Okay, so that that because already we have we are in this field. So our ideas are quite different from the conventional uh, manufacturers. Sure, sure. So uh, this is six years old now, right? 2015, like you said. It is like, yeah, it is six years old. Okay. So how has been your journey in this six years? How was your, how has your revenue jumped? How has your experience? What uh, any any specific learning you had that you want to share with people? Yes, definitely. The uh, first thing is that whenever you start something, definitely you will fail. <laughs> so there are chances that you will fail. But the, when someone starts something, the first thing that have they have to remember that confidence something to awake. So the main purpose of our what we do is that we give this confidence to people. That is why the name itself goes food asta because asta means faith or support. Okay, so the we uh, so the main reason why people don't who don't start or they fear while starting is because they fear that they may fail. So the first thing that we do is remove the failure from them, that fear from them. So whatever we have been doing, uh, see, uh, for our clientele, we may not have big clients because already big clients will be there. They may have already been there in the market. They have a lot of uh, contacts, but uh, small entrepreneurs who are uh, aspiring entrepreneurs, they need a lot of push. So our main criteria was to push for them. Then students who are doing food technology or allied courses, they need uh, some aspiration for, uh, to go on. So these were the things that we focused on and we till date we focus on all these things. Students always come for us for training, for uh, project work, etc. So we have been on that. Uh, plus we have also a production unit. So that is again going on well. Sure, sure, sure. So uh, in India, especially a lot of people I mean, who are starting a startup or who have just started the startup don't have much of financial literacy. And because of that, they make a lot of mistakes in terms of calculation of profit loss, cash flow, and a lot of other things that yes. is kind of unfortunately not in the mainstream education also, except maybe the commerce student might be learning a bit. But let's say the engineers and all don't learn that uh, those kind of uh, things in school colleges in general, uh, they might just know profit loss, but you know, beyond profit loss, there are a lot more things. Uh, so how was your journey regarding this and would you like to share any experience or would you like to uh, what would you like to uh, advise the newbies who are just about to start up or thinking about startup should they go through some course or how should how should they learn this financial things according to you okay so uh, i think in uh, cbsc 12th standard uh, textbook there is a chapter called entrepreneurship i uh, that is there I, I don't know whether it is uh, taught to every science student or any, every other like you said it may be only taught to some commerce student but there is a chapter in C ncrt text which says entrepreneurship so what i would suggest for young entrepreneurs that uh, that these kind of things should be taught from the childhood they should know the basic in uh, in their uh, domestic activities also they should be taught what are we purchasing what is to be purchased and what happens to the money all these things uh, can be learned from home itself the first thing then if they are interested in these kind of thing uh, the, uh, business is not only for commerce people business if you want to do something if you're doing something of your own it is all called business so like business all these because it deals with uh, currency or costing or profit share basis it need not be always a commerce topic so it should be taught from uh, school level plus i think most of the uh, science streams right now have a paper called uh, most of the bsc and msc or b tech or m tech they have this entrepreneurial development program they have there in, in their syllabus but sometimes it is just taken as such someone from the mbs side will come and take so it is just for the mere academic purpose but instead of that a practical application where they can do something so that that uh, spirit of being an entrepreneur uh, can be in them. Everyone may not be an entrepreneur. So whoever finds that uh, force in them, 
of an entrepreneur, they can then aspire that field. Plus, once they complete their basic education, there are so many courses available. Even Entrepreneurial Development Institute of India has a, uh, a post-graduation program also on entrepreneurship. Plus, there are so many uh, courses available conducted by government and private organizations on different levels of entrepreneurship. So, uh, it is good that if they find all these things, will be nice. Okay? But the initial seed should be sown at the right from the school level or the college level. On a correct method. Very true. Very true. I fully agree personally also on this. That if uh, you know, little bit of financial knowledge is given from the very childhood, you know, in their adulthood and all, they will probably make less mistakes or at least understand the repercussions of those mistakes or those decisions, financial decisions, I guess. And uh, somehow because of lack of that, uh, even at personal level, a lot of people suffer, I think. It's good to have those kind of knowledge from the very beginning. Yeah. Another uh, bottleneck for a lot of startups is, you know, the team hiring, the initial 10 people or 20 people that you need to hire to uh, or the partners or initial business partners, also co-founders, uh, another fancy name for those business partners. So in your case, how was your team or like you, I think you said you had a business partner. How did you find your business partner and how did you expand your team? from let's say one or two people to 10 or 20, whatever you have right now. How was that team hiring, firing journey for you? No, I don't have a 20 people right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, the partner, I knew this, uh, my partner uh, for at least uh, three, four years. So he was doing some diary consultancy work in Tamil Nadu likewise. So I had met him for almost, uh, I'm talking about Pudasta. So, uh, when I had this idea of starting Pudasta, I just tell, told him that I have an idea, so and so things. So, he had a small uh, baking unit of a very small grid. So, we thought we'll combine both of them. So, the uh, what what I would suggest to people that instead of saying people who have similar IK process. Now, I have one more firm called Food Safety Solutions International. The partner is again the uh, your experience in food safety throughout the globe. So I knew her from right from childhood. Okay, so so what I if you're finding a partner, just don't find a partner for the sake of a partner. Find someone who have your own uh, mind frame or vibe or whatever you call it that you should share thoughts or find a partner who will cover your demerits. If you're very bad in accounting or very bad in um, marketing and if your partner is very good in that and if the partner is bad at what you are good at, that will make a good pair. So explore those open uh, with your uh, strength, weakness, opportunity and threat with your uh, partners. If you find that blend will be good, then that will be the best combination. And the best thing is to keep partners or anyone with uh, together with us, even if you have more than two partners or anything, uh, just those financial things transparent. Never alterate any of those financial transactions or financial links. Keep it very transparent because even blood relations get bad when uh, financial things go bad. So always keep financial things transparent. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, that's very good to know. Uh, but by regarding, uh, let's say, after the business partner, the team member, uh, yeah. one or two people, is my voice okay now? No. I'm not able to hear you properly. The device gets disconnected, so I use two devices. I think it's okay now. Sometimes the other device gets disconnected. Two devices now should be better. Uh, is it better? Uh, is it better or not? Hello. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my next question, I'm just. Okay. Uh, so next question I have is regarding decision making. So there are a lot of
see uh, as the question itself suggests there is a difficult or entrepreneurs Hello? face can a certain I, difficulty sorry i think yeah, i can can tell me. please the internet is slightly Hello, can you hear me? Is it better now? I can hear you. Yeah, it is better. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I was asking about decision making. How do you uh, make decisions, and what advice would you give to entrepreneurs while making decisions uh, regarding different entrepreneurship aspect, uh, especially at the beginning? What What's your take on this? Okay. So the general thing is that right from the question itself, it is understood that. entrepreneurs faced difficulties in decision making or they will have a period where their decision will be difficult so the first thing that every entrepreneur should uh, practice is a kind of meditation or something where you keep your mind cool there will be there may be so many good things there may be so many bad things happening around you so whatever good things happen around you whatever bad things happen, uh, uh, happen around you your head should be a stable enough uh, to be above all these things even if it's too good also even if it's too bad also so do a lot of meditation keep your mind calm relaxed so and focus on the issue so and there should be a differentiation between the emotional side and the logic focus on the issue instead of worrying or uh, be about the issue worry on the solution whenever the uh, entrepreneur is ready to find issues and find solutions to the issues the most of the uh, entrepreneurial issues will be solved uh, the first thing that entrepreneur should do is that should find issues wherever there is issue should find issues work on solutions don't worry on the issue issues will happen work brainstorm on the solutions possible and sometimes even the linear solution may not be a solution so find out something that is out of the box also to for that the mind should be clean the mind should be uh, awake all the time to make the decision so practice that in your daily routine and don't find anything don't come to a conclusion right from the word go whatever you think may be good may not be good whatever you think will be bad may not be bad always so you must be in a position that you understand all those things correctly distinguish what is what and why you need it and how you need it so these kind of clarity should be uh, there in everything it comes through practice also so i think that is the best thing that entrepreneur can do train yourself for the uh, toughest task possible sure sure so sure. that's good it's a good uh, advice that you gave that uh, uh, meditation can be a good thing to do for entrepreneurs and uh, this meditation can help them keep their mind keep their mind uh, calm and decision making is much easier when they do this so re- regarding this uh, i i have a follow up question so sometimes you know the teammates or the employees don't work according to your expectations and you might be you know finding it hard to control your anger or your emotions how do you deal with this in your case so no, again a meditation again helps in that because Uh, when you want, there are certain times where you will have to show anger. Suppose if you are in production hall and your workers want to, there will be a uh, point where you will have to. Some people will understand when you say it in a calm way. Some people will understand when you say it in a strong way. Some people will only understand if you shout and say. So you should distinguish your anger in these kind of thing. Even though you may feel anger inside. you may you shouldn't express the anger always sometimes you may not feel anger 
but sometimes you will have to show that anger in your face so that people think that you are serious on that so these kind of so that is why i said your mind should be always stable for all these things so sometimes some people will only understand if you shout so your energy level may not rise you may not feel anger but sometimes you will have to shout to ensure that point is correctly met sure so i think it's a good point you know staying calm is very important for a founder entrepreneur the initial core team member because they have to handle lot of people and if they lose their calm obviously the things can go very haywire and uh, the whole company can crumble in a day or so if things go way beyond the control so uh, having said all this who do you think shouldn't become entrepreneur like there uh, do you think there are some qualities Uh, that we should look for in ourselves or let's say when the students who will be hearing us uh, they might be thinking that they should become a founder or a co-founder or maybe a core team member etc so uh, do you uh, according to you do you think there is a quality that an entrepreneur needs or a quality that an entrepreneur shouldn't have at all anything like that or anyone can do anything or what's your take on this so basically there are many reasons for people to be entrepreneurs some people will have that urge urge in them to become an entrepreneur some people may start something because they ended ended up doing whatever they did they may fail in their job or they may not get a job so finally okay i'll do something of my own and somehow survive so when you do something that you don't like when you do something that you don't have passion face a lot of issues when you do something which you has passion then definitely whatever difficulty comes to you you will every person uh, whether being a student or someone who is working in a another firm also do a swt analysis or sort analysis of find those swt analysis on where you are then then you will know what you do with this life so just and how better you can analyze yourself the best way to uh, find out what you need is to go in you understand yourself correctly so many of the things you can people can correct sometimes they may feel angry because they may find some insecurity so find what is your reason uh, for insecurity so these kind of thing can be solved by individual perception where they they think so uh, this is the best possible way where someone can train themselves so the worst way is to for an entrepreneur is to find to have is to have ego or any kind of thing that i am the super person of my firm without me the firm is nothing there is nothing like that so that that kind of uh, ego will only damage the firm so when we are working with the firm the firm is more important when the firm gets the fame we get the fame instead of if we are in for three or four partners suppose one person thinks that i am the backbone of the team i am the axis of it there it will be very difficult when we are working in a firm and we are working for the firm the firm should get the name so automatically the people behind that will get that fame so those kind of attributes will only cause difficulty so such kind of ego should not be there for any entrepreneur sure 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 that's a good point there shouldn't be any ego uh, another question i have is uh, you know some people are slightly over confident some people are slightly under confident what do you think entrepreneur should be slightly over confident is better or slightly under confidence is better because probably exact amount of confidence is very rare i guess in this world no it is good to be under confident also because if someone is under confident sometimes certain people will uh, learn more so you you are under confident because you don't know certain things or you doubt how it will come up so that kind of attitude is good over confidence is sometimes will end up in trouble but through experience you know certain things or so if it so and so and so things may go wrong but i have experience that i can somehow manage uh, above that so that kind of confidence is good so both of these things are actually good If you are under confident, find what what are you under confident in? Again, like an analysis of every emotion.
Uh, one more question. I have last question for the, uh, for today. Uh, what is the what is the right age you think for entrepreneurship? Uh, was it audible? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Yes. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I just type. What is the age of entrepreneurship according to you? When should people start? School, college, after? After some time, I mean, after working for some time, or what's your take on this? I am not. Sir? Yeah, so I was asking you, what is the uh, age of or what's your Yeah, it's okay. According to you, what should be the age of entrepreneurship? Start something when you feel like starting. That is the first thing. There are cases where people have started at older ages. There are people who have started at younger ages. So there is no uh, time as such. Theoretically, we may say so many time, uh, age or anything. But uh, start when you want to start something. If you feel like starting, don't wait. If you are, if you wait, if you say that after a few years I will start, after some time I will start, then again you are going to create more issues. So if you want, if you want to start something, if you feel like starting, if you think whatever your idea is very good, go on with it. Follow your gut feeling and go on with it. And one added thing that can be said if someone starts something at a young age, okay, so that young age means uh, usually by the time you reach somewhere around 50s or 60s. You will your business will be anyway successful, okay? Or you will you will if you are ending up in a loss also you can do something else. So uh, if you if someone tries at a very older age, the age may be a factor for certain people to take risk. They may have certain uh, family liabilities or so many things will be there. So such kind of things may delay their process or create more hurdles for them. So if someone starts at a young age, they have the uh, flexibility of so many years with them. But the basic uh, when should someone start is when you think you are ready to start. Start. Sure, sure, sure. That's a good point. We should start when we think we are ready to start. So, uh, okay, the very last question. Uh, let's say if somebody is thinking that they should start a startup, they have an idea or something. What are the first three things you recommend them to do? Or the first maybe three, four things they should do. Let's say I have an idea I want to implement. What are the two, three things I should do in let's say first two, three weeks according to you? First two, three weeks or initially? You first first, first two, three two, three things to do. Two, three things. Okay. Or like, let's say a lot of people are actually confused, you know, where to start exactly. Like the first month is very confusing. So according to you, how should that first month Oh, you know, if somebody is willing to start a business or a okay. startup, according to you. No, first analyze the idea what you have. The, the idea that you have, is it finding a solution for an issue? If that idea doesn't find a solution for an issue, uh, the initial days will be sometimes very difficult. Because you will have to teach people or you will have to explain so many things. If it is finding a solution, if people have so many issues and if it's finding a solution to that issue, then that idea is very excellent. You can go from the word go. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is that when someone wants to start something, 
just do a background study instead of just if you had an idea so someone had an idea suddenly if you go and register a firm you may sometimes find very difficult so when you have an idea work on that idea whether you find there is a possibility on that what should i do to start a business whether do i have knowledge in that area do i have the right uh, financial things on that area those kind of initial study is very needed before starting something many people may have, when we conduct entrepreneurial development program people say i want to start something so we we will say that there are n number of things for you to start think whether you want to start or you want to find solution for an issue understand what you are going to do that's first thing and more of the important is that uh, don't uh, be in a belief that i have a business and uh, i serve customers you serve customers and thereby make business if if the product or which does not meet the beneficiary then the firm is not going to pick up if the uh, if the idea or whatever the product or the service if it meets the customers demand if it meets the aspiration of the customers clients or whatever you whatever name you may call if the beneficiary is not getting benefit from the idea then that company will not pick up so uh, restructure your firm ensure that the beneficiary is actually benefited like for example if someone can conduct a training program they may be people may be knowledge they may conduct a training program but whether the training program is uh, implemented whether people who are attending the training program actually have a benefit after the training program so likewise every product we may have so many ideas of n number of products so if i am launching a product will this product be useful for people will this product will people buy again and again since i am in uh, food business i would say buy again and again okay. so these kind of thing uh, should be for then once that all these kind of things are solved then it will be easy for people to start so uh, sit correctly decide on this then then those easy because you know your uh, what is the customer demand you know what is to be done then go on find a niche crowd for your product or service so that uh, strategy should be there from the beginning have good contacts with your clients or customers depends on service or product so that is all again very important and personal relation all these uh, social media is everything is good there is i'm not saying it is bad but there will be so many cases where your personal relationship will give you good uh, uh, good initial power launches very good points you uh, mentioned uh, personal relation will always help a lot and all and you know staying calm staying calm and learning finances from the very beginning so i think these are all useful tips that our audience will find very useful to implement so th- thank you very much uh, mr anantha narayanan we are very glad to have your uh, knowledge being shared on our platform and our youtube channel so hope everyone will like this uh, tips uh, when they are thinking about starting up so with this we'll end the, our uh, friday startup night out uh, thank you everyone for watching uh, thank you mr anantharan anantharan one more time good night uh, for now thank you thank you for giving this opportunity